Day 12. Genesis 34 to 36. Third generation funeral. Cave of Machpelah. God, who called Jacob to Bethel, changed his name into Israel and repeatedly promised the blessing of being fruitful and increasing in numbers. First point. When education collapses, other things are bound to also collapse. Jacob forgot about God's promise 20 years ago at Bethel, and his plan was to buy some fields at Shechem to live there. But in Shechem, he faced trouble. Jacob's second son, Simeon, and third son, Levi, went to avenge their sister Dina after the disgrace she faced in Shechem. They abused circumcisions and killed the man residing there. They ignored that circumcision symbolized the covenant between God and Abraham when he was aged 99. Jacob's sons, however, completely abused this act by committing a grave sin. Jacob worked relentlessly for 20 years in Haran that he failed to educate his family about God's covenant. The seriousness of this became apparent in Shechem. When education is not practiced properly, then such dangers are bound to follow. Second point. After 20 years since Bethel, Jacob was able to lay down the foundation of his family's faith. When Jacob was unable to live in Shechem, Due to the incident of Simeon and Levi, God told Jacob to return to Bethel and offer sacrifice there. God wanted to renew Jacob's family in this place. During the 20 years in Haran, Jacob had forgot about the promise God had made with him at Bethel. But God had not forgotten. As such, Jacob's family's faith was re-established in Bethel. Third point, when Rachel died, Jacob began to favor Joseph and Benjamin. Not long after leaving Bethel, Rachel died giving birth to Benjamin. When Rachel died, his love or obsession went straight to Joseph. Later, when Jacob thought that Joseph had died for 22 years, he became obsessed with Benjamin. As such, Jacob loved and favored Rachel for 20 years and then did the same to Benjamin for 22 years. Jacob's long-standing issue of favoritism was unexpectedly cured through the famine. Fourth point, Abraham's family, three generations, were buried in the cave of Machpelah. Abraham's funeral was held by Ishmael and Isaac and Isaac's funeral was held by Esau and Jacob. Afterwards, Jacob, who died in Egypt, was also buried in the cave of Machpelah by his twelve sons. As such, three generations of Abraham's family was buried in the cave of Machpelah. Seen throughout history, the cave of Machpelah played a crucial role. Firstly, with Jacob, wanting to be buried in Machpelah. A commute had to be made from Egypt, which acted as a trial for the Exodus that was to happen 400 years later. Secondly, after the Israelites had occupied Canaan, Caleb chose this land. And thirdly, 900 years later, David was anointed as a king over Judah there. Fifth point, the genealogy of the Edomites was the fulfillment of God's promise to Israel. Genesis chapter 36 records the fulfillment of God's promise concerning Esau's descendants. It shows that Esau's descendants became as numerous as the stars in the sky. The Edomites, as blessed by Isaac, had the task of living in peace 
with the Israelites. However, later in the book of Obadiah, we come across the story of God reproving the descendants of Esau. This was because Edom cooperated with the Babylonian Empire and was also glad when the Israelites fell into Babylon's hand. Thus, God declared judgment upon Edom through the prophet of Adiah for enjoying their brother's downfall. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. And let me tell you how important this app is in a, in a biblical sense. There's this incredible passage in, in Numbers 12, verses 6 to 8, where Miriam and Aaron are fighting, all right? These are the sister of Moses and the brother of Moses. And they are insisting that God speaks to them, maybe as much as through their brother Moses. And, and they're, they're bickering and, and going bantering back and forth. And finally, God has enough of it. So he, he calls them into the tent of meeting. And this is what he says to them. Now, this is Numbers 12, 6 to 8. Listen to my words, Miriam and Aaron. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him I speak. The Hebrew here is pay el pay. Pay is the 17th letter of the Hebrew alphabet and literally means mouth. In fact, the ancient character, the Hebrew character of pay was the, 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 the outline of a mouth. So God is not appearing to Moses face to face. God is appearing and speaking to Moses, you ready? Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The Bible, do you get it? This is the first five books of the Bible, the Torah. We're seen as mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, the, the continuing of God's breath that was breathed initially into the first Adam. The breath of God brought us to life and made us human. And then the tree of life kept that breathing going. And then we're separated from, from that tree with the fall. And now we have, though, the Word of God. And it comes to us mouth-to-mouth from the divine is these but we need daily mouth to mouth inhalations we need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the word of god and that's why a a a tong doc bible is so important the devil's tempting jesus matthew 4 4 remember this man shall not live by what bread alone but by what every word that proceeds how? From out of the mouth of God. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. The, the, the scripture was not given to us as a reading. It was given to us as a hearing. You didn't read the Bible. You heard it. Hebrew children didn't read and memorize the Torah. They heard it. And, and, and from the hearing of it, they memorized it, not from the reading of it. And so it is so important that we understand that faith comes by what? Hearing. And as this passage says in Numbers, that from the mouth to mouth, then Moses saw the form of God. So sound becomes sight. It, it is, the ears come first. This app shows you how 
to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. Thank you.